little variations of some burpees that you can put into your exercises to help you with your cardio as well as activating your upper body core and your legs. Uh, some of them could be leg centric, um, a little bit heavier. Some of them you could be more upper body. Uh, and then depending on how you want to do these, you could do, uh, you could just mix them in every now and again. You can go through a, a set number of them um, and do a rotation or a circuit. Um, you could also do for time, which is another good one, uh, Tabata style, uh, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds off. Uh, you, there's lots of fun ways that you can mix around with them. I'm just going to show you some variations. So our basic uh, burpee that we like to do is we start with our feet about shoulders width apart. We squat down, getting those legs activated. Hands go down, feet go out, feet come back in, stand back up. That's the basic, most basic of them all. You can also walk them out so you can squat, hands down, you can step the feet out, step the feet back in, squat back up. Make sure you're bending those legs and not leaning over. Um, and try to keep your shoulders as square uh, and as straight up as you can over your knees. Weight in your heels, hands go down, feet jump out, nice and tight together, nice good plank, feet back in and jump. You can also do that with a, a, with a jump at the end. So you could squat, hands down, feet out, feet in, and straight jump, making sure your arms come up over your head. You can do that as well. And now you can also add uh, the push-up in there as well. So if you start from a regular burpee, bend those knees, hands go down, feet go out, go all the way flat, come back up, you come in, and you can add the jump or not. It's up to you. Uh, so adding that push-up in there is another way. Another way you can add a little bit of complexity to it is you could do the burpee uh, with some mountain climbers. So you can go squat down, feet out, mountain climbers, feet come back in, and jump, okay? So you could do one single leg mountain climbers. As you go down there, I usually try to keep them in like sets of two or one each leg uh, for like a total of four, but you can do as many as you want. And you could also do both feet at the same time. So I can squat down, hands go out, both knees come in, out, in, out and then jump. Another variation of that is doing the same double knees or single on either side of your legs. So you're going to kind of do a uh, lunge almost outside of your arms. So again, you could squat down, feet go out. You can go both knees on the outside of your elbows, or you can do single knees. One, two, in and up. Okay, so vary, a lot of variations incorporating the legs. There's another one you do kind of a, a, a plank jack or jumping jack as well. So you could be starting from your uh, burpee position, squat down, feet out, feet in, and up as well. And again, you could always add the jump or not add the jump, and jump. It's entirely up to you. And all of these you could scale by um, walking them out. So any variations, you could scale by walking it, walking it, walking it, standing back up. It's entirely up to you. Another way you can do the burpees, uh, this will be more like a sprawl, would be to drop the hips. Normally, we try to get a static uh, hold when we do our burpee and then slowly control it all the way down. But you can do it like you're, you're dropping your hips for a sprawl, either to the left side or the right side, or you can just splay them both out. So it would be the same type of burpee, bend your knees, hands go down, drop your hips, arch your back, hips go flat, thighs go flat, pop back up. You can be square like this, or you can add the extra complexity by uh, jumping up into a fighting stance already. So I can go square, right back in, uh, up into the stance with my right, or with my left, or you can favor one side. If you like to sprawl with your right leg out or right leg back, then have that left foot in front. It's entirely up to you. So you can sneak those in. You can be shadow boxing, sneak them in anywhere you want. You could be doing any other type of exercise, sneak those in as well. A couple other variations that you can do, single arm burpees. So you can start 
regular burpee position, you would squat down, but for this one, you would put your hand, one hand down the middle, spread the legs out, feet come back in, stand up, and then you could opposite arm as well. Uh, you could do a, a series of those. You can do right, left, and then jump up. So you can do them individually. One, up, two, up, or you can do a combination of a quick explosion. And again, adding the jumps in there is entirely up to you. That's where you're focusing on one arm, stabilizing in the middle. Other hand could be in chamber, put it behind your back, put it out wherever you want it to help you with your balance. And the more you spread your legs on that, the uh, easier it will be. So if you want to make it really challenging, narrow those legs together. So to make it as easy as possible, I would squat, legs out wide, make a nice little triangle, come back in. If I want to make it harder, stick it as close to together as you can, bringing those feet nice and close. Another option, uh, side to side burpees. So you could be uh, starting in the middle position, quickly shuffle your, your feet over to one side, drop, stay low, drop, stay low. And you can keep going back and forth. You can slide in, slide in, slide in and out, or you can cross them, cross step, cross step over, or you can just explode and a little hop and go back to the other side. Lots of variations of that as well. The reason why we like to use burpees a lot is it's a as close to a full body uh, workout as we can without doing a lot of reps or isolation. It's getting your legs involved, it's getting your core, getting your upper body, and it's getting your cardio. All the four things like we like to focus on. Upper body, obviously, for our blocks and punches, or pushes and pulls, um, our core connecting the two for twists, takedowns and throws, firing those shots. Um, it connects our upper body and our lower body together. Um, and as well as the legs, great foundation for stability in blocks and in strikes, as well as movement as necessary. Um, and then by putting them all together with your breathing, you're starting to get different muscle groups to work at different times as opposed to just isolating upper body only, core only, legs only. Kind of linking them a little bit more together like we would in a regular situation. When I throw a punch, it's my leg, it's my core, it's my arm, it's my breathing. All those things happen together. It's not one individual by itself. So, uh, and it's a good way to get that heartbeat up pretty fast, um, get a good sweat. Um, and again, you can do these in, in many different ways. You can go for a set number, Say you're going to do reps, uh, you know, however many you can um, in a certain amount of time. Um, you can say, okay, for 30 seconds, I'm going to try to do uh, 15 or 20. Um, if you can't do that, say, okay, how many can I do in 30 seconds? And then mark your, your progress there. You can do them for a many, couple of different rounds if you need to. Um, and you can keep track. And then when you get bored with one, sneak another one in there. Or you could rotate through a bunch of them. It's entirely up to you, or you can just pepper them in. You know, you're doing some shadow boxing, sneak one in there. You're doing some uh, some basics, you know, throw some in there. If you're doing any type of exercise that you want to take it up to uh, another notch, you can always throw some of those different variations of those burpees in there as well.